Welcome to the InFocus channel. We're going to talk a little bit today about scanning. And scanning is a wonderful thing to do of old photographs. They were taken with cameras, and uh, some of you remember this, but this is called film. And uh, your parents, your grandparents used this to photograph their lives. And uh, this is what we need to bring into the digital world. Because right now they're sitting in analog. A lot of them are sitting in shoe boxes that uh, people store their photographs in. Around the world, there's lots of shoe boxes in attics and basements. But uh, this is what we're gonna work on today and we're gonna work on the next little while to learn how to do scanning. And so if you subscribe to this channel, you'll get more tips of how to do really cool scanning and make that experience just wonderful. So before we start, I wanna kinda of talk a little bit about what you're gonna find in your shoe box. You're gonna find some prints and those are the prints that are in your shoe box. And some of them you'll notice have faded as well. And that fading, we can bring those back and give them new life again. You're gonna find some negatives and that's what the prints were made from, these beautiful negatives. They're kind of a sepia tone, brown color. And you kind of want to hold those on the edges. You normally don't want to put finger marks in the middle of them. So I'd kind of be careful with the negatives. A lot of times they'll come in these beautiful sleeves. And I would leave them in the sleeves until you're ready to scan them in. The third thing you're going to find in your shoe box is going to be uh, slides. A lot of slides. These are positives. You can actually see what's on them. If you look at them through a loop or on a light table, you can see what's on those slides. So this is what we're going to have. Now, when you get a scanner, you're going to have a few different things. You're going to have some holders to put the film into so they can lay on the, the scanning bed. And you have here negatives. These are for negative 35 millimeter negatives. This is for 35 millimeter slides. And you also will find that there will be some holders that have different sizes. This happened to be medium format or 120 film. There's going to be some 4x5 film. There's going to be some 5x7. There's going to be some 620 film, some 110 film. And those are all films that can be scanned with this beautiful scanner here. Let's talk a little bit about the scanner. Uh, a lot of you have already purchased a scanner. You may already have one in your home. It's a multifunction device that does a printing, it does copying, it does scanning, and it does faxing. And so those are the things that you have in your home. The issue or the problem with the actual scanner that's in one of those multifunction devices is the fact that they don't have a way to scan negatives and slides. The reason why is because these scanners have to have what's called a transparency module. When I take this off, this little thing that's good for printing or for scanning prints, then I reveal what's called a transparency module. Underneath here is a light, a little light that follows the scanning as it goes across. And so the scanner on the bottom will pick up the picture and this will light up the film that lays on the, flat, on the scanning bed. Let's I'll show you right here how that works. So if I have a piece of film here, this is a 35 millimeter slide, and I put that on the scanning bed, like this here. There we go. It'll go on like this. It'll go like this, actually. <laughs> like this. This now will go in and it'll lay down on the scanning bed, like this. When I close this up, the light now will come from the top, and it will emit through the slide itself and pick up the image. The same thing would happen when you have a, a negative a negative like this here, it'll do the same thing. And if I were to put it into the holder, I'll turn it around the, the, the actual holder itself, and I'd be able to see what the image is through the negative. Now, what's cool about the negative is the negative with software in the scanner, this Epson scanner, will turn into a positive so you can actually see what's there. Your memory will just be kind of refreshed again to see these old photographs come to life. And that's the beauty of these negatives and it's a beauty of scanning as well to make sure that you digitize, digitize those beautiful photographs. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, get more information about how to scan. We're going to, over the next few weeks, we're going to do several of these scanning tips and how to make the best scanning experience that you can possibly have.